My name is Michael Amon. I live in Vienna and I work at the Hospital of St. John. It's a teaching university hospital and I do anterior segment, posterior segment, cornea and glaucoma surgery. It's the so-called forceps needle. It's an instrument combin combining a needle with a forceps inside the hollow needle. And we know that with all these flunging techniques nowadays, with flunging sutures, flunging haptics, we need to externalize material. And with that needle, it is easier to perform because the needle holds the material inside, the forceps holds it, and then you easily can externalize it. No matter which angle you have between needle and haptic or suture, and there's also, if you have some resistance during the externalization, it stays within the needle because it's, it's, it's held by the forceps. That's the idea behind. As we all know, Jin Yamane introduced these new flunging techniques of haptics externalization. And I also did that in his technique and it was working nicely, but I realized that sometimes you get problems. Sometimes if you press the haptic material inside the needle, it kinks, it turns, and it gets to some uh, extent some damage. For that reason, I thought it might be advisable to have an instrument where you can uh, pull the material inside. And sometimes it happens that during externalization, the material comes out and stays in the eye. It comes out from the needle. So if you hold it with a forceps combined with the needle, so you have two elements implemented in that system. You have a scleral tunnel made by the needle, a puncture and scleral tunnel. Then you can open the forceps needle, you can hold and pull the material inside the needle, and then you don't lose it during externalization. And that, in my opinion, makes some procedures easier and some procedures even possible. As I mentioned, you can externalize sutures and haptics. You can perform a Canabrava technique where you take sutures out. This material can be of Gore-Tex, no matter which material you need. So you just, you can use it not only for flunging techniques, but even for suturing techniques. Uh, you can uh, fixate with that instrument with sutures, uh, artificial irises, CTRs, CTS, the anchor. So you know, there are so many things you can fixate. You can puncture a lens and bring the suture through the puncture, through the hole, and take it and externalize it and, 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 and flange it then. So there are a, a lot of ways you can use it. For instance, if you have a decentration, you can refixate it or you can exchange it and bring a new lens inside. So there are so many uh, options you have with that technique, with flanging technique, uh, that I think it is quite helpful to have such an instrument on board. It's a flanging technique in anterior segment surgery. I wrote some part of it, but there also were very well-known authors. Shin Yamane, Sergio Canabrava, Ehud Asia, Liliana Werner, Gabor Shariat and myself. And it all covers this topic from the beginning why a lens is decentering to how we can refixate it, how we, which technique we can apply to fixate it, and all this different instrumentation, for instance. And at the end of the section, there's a, a pearls from the surgeons. So there are some questions and the, the approach of the surgeons are there uh, mentioned in detail. So it's quite an overview on flanging techniques.